those are, let me see. You're bugging me. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you bothering me? So Jenny had the bright idea that we should, uh, before I change this winch, we should haul the, the uh, mainsail up. Haul the mainsail. <laughs> We're Jenny and Rich, and our stowaway is Twitchell the Marina Cat. We've been documenting the refit of our 1977 Tayona 37 Ramble On for the past several years. I don't think there's a single part of this boat that we haven't repaired, replaced, or improved in some way. We're proud to say we've done 99.9% .9 of the work ourselves. We've gained a lot of knowledge and experience in the process, and we're happy to pass that wisdom on. We haven't shook this sail in months, probably since uh, last year or early this year, maybe. Oh, yeah, there's a mud nest in there. Is there? Yeah, I see it right there. The hell, there's a sea lion behind our boat. There's a bird's nest in here. Why is it so well, this is going to end up all over our our new Dodger. So we got a new winch for the uh, main halyard. I think this is going to be better than what we had before. None of these holes are going to be in the right spot, so I'll have to just drill them all out again. There will be room for that on that plate? I'm guessing. This is a two-speed Anderson 34. They're made by Ronstan, and they're not that expensive, comparatively speaking, to Lumars and Harkins and all that. So your tailing arm needs to be relative to which way the rope needs to spill off of it to go come back into the boat. This one, the arm, based on a mast winch, this one needs to be facing straight down. So no matter what I do, uh, the footprint of the... Yankees holes are very close to uh, mainly on the aft side. These two holes are too close, so I'm going to reposition the block entirely. So even if I rotated this around the other way, then it just puts the holes on the forward side. Yeah, I've got to rotate it 180 because of the curvature of this thing. So with the position of the two screws on the aft side, um, I had to come up with some weird arrangement. I can do three of these holes and they won't be affected by the existing holes in the backing plate. But the uh, mast still has those existing holes in it. So I changed the position of it. I think I lowered it down a little bit so that I could dodge past the existing holes that are from the Ankies. I can put the, the winch on with these three screws and then drill it in position for the last two screws. Way too shiny to be on our boat, especially next to the mast. <laughs> you don't like that chalky paint? It's all pitted and chipped off. Huh. Check one off the list. Yeah, right. All right, so we got a couple of lines to run on the boat. So this is just some, I think it's 11 millimeter Marlowe double braid, and we're gonna try it out and compare it to the stay set that we already have on the boat. We're running the stacial sheet today, so that's what we're gonna use this line for, and it goes back to the cockpit winch right here. This is the clue on the adjustable stacial. This is the, it's a shackle that goes around the clue. This line goes to that. This goes to the clue board on our new stacial. So we got a bunch of new lines to put on the boat. So we already did the staysail line and it's nice, feels nice, like it. So then this is our old, this is our old uh, main sheet. I don't know what this is, but it's um, really stiff. It's I mean, old. it's old and it's, it 
Oh, <laughs> evidently we got it for free. It's old, and uh, and we actually have a lot more of this, don't we? I never really liked this. It's just too stiff. So what we did was we ordered this red stay set and this blue stay set. Stay set. But this one, this one's got the the. Maybe the, that is the Endura braid. Is it the Endura braid? I don't remember. You. You know, I think it is Endura braid. This is okay. the Endura braid. Originally, we got this for our main sheet, and when we got it, I after holding it for a bit. I don't like it as much as I like this red. So one was going to be the preventer, one was going to be the main sheet. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to make this the main sheet because I like this better and the preventer is going to be much less use. Um, and plus it's just, it's not a line that you're going to handle a lot. So the other thing, the other thing that we kind of see here is that we had um, Port Supply, which is West Marine. They went ahead and did the ice splice for us. Um, and this one, it's it's nice. You can feel the berry. It goes like down to here, I guess. You know, pretty standard. This one, which maybe it's just because it's the Endura braid. I don't know. But this one, the berry, where does it go? It's a long. I can't even. Berry. Yeah, I can't really tell. But it's it's long. It's like at least to here. It feels real hard here. That might be the recommended. Uh very length. For yeah, that which type of room. right. So that that could, which could, I'm sure it's correct. You know, they've done what they're what how they do it. But this having the berry this long, going through our blocks on the main sheet setup, that's going to be potentially a problem. So we went ahead and measured out these. Are, these are almost the same exact length, um, and so we're going to go ahead and use the red one. And it works out because our main sheet is on the port side, and red is port. So that should be fine. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run this new sheet. No confusion there. That's one thing you can't do when you order line online. You can't feel it, you can't touch it. We watched a couple of videos of people saying, oh, this is a great line, or this is soft, and this is nice, and blah, blah, blah. But they said this one was great, but you can definitely feel the difference. I mean, I, it, I'm sure it would be fine. If we got all Endura braid, I wouldn't know any different, but because we got two separate kinds, this is just the regular stay set. I like that one better. So that's what we're going to use. Trying to hit our brand new Dodger windshield. With that triple block? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe some more low friction rings. That's the other thing. So we are going to... Oh, my hair is just going crazy. Um, these things, I mean, they work great, but you can see they kind of bang up the uh, deck a little bit. So you're going to change these, right, to low friction rings? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we're going to change these very nice Garhauer blocks to these very small and simple low friction rings. Rich spliced this Dyneema with a diamond knot. I don't know what kind of splice this is. It's basically a soft shackle. Soft shackle splice. It's got an open throat that you can lock yeah. in the ring. So I'm just going to go on here. Maybe. There. That's it. And then here's the other one. In order to the eye splice doesn't fit through the Garhauer block, so we have to run it backwards, and we don't remember how it goes. Oh. Hey, you don't have like a supply of cotter pin, cotter rings. I know you do. That's how it goes. 